<clears throat> bitch, if you didn't know how, how loved I am in NYC, bitch, you definitely would learn. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Girl, I'm done with them two fags. <laughs> well, we're not, we're, we, we have more. Let's go. Oh, okay. Sorry. Because Skin Post was just posted that, so I wanted to post that. Oh, I know y'all got my back, baby. Listen, I know it's a squad of my girl, my girls up there that got my motherfucking back. She a okay. squad. Yeah, we are coming to New York. We coming to the NYC. All right, so we want to move to Amber Rose, but here's the reason why. This is okay. Go no, no, no. We're gonna let's. Oh. This is what we need to do first. We need to dissect why we're gonna why we, why we need to. And Craig, I want oh, okay. you. I know you're gonna eat Amber up. But I also want you to educate educationally do it. Okay. I want you to still be a nigga about it. <laughs> but I want you to be educationally. The reason why everyone is so hurt and feels some type of way, even myself, because I like Amber and I'm, I'm disappointed. I don't think that people are really understanding how we are in dire straits in this upcoming election. We are in danger. And I don't mean we as the gays. I mean we as in all minorities are in danger. That includes women. All minorities are in danger. And we're talking about what's in, what's what's on the first day or, or being imposed in this whole thing is Project 2025. Can we talk about Project 2025 mm -hmm. just for a second? Then we're going to get the Amber Rose because it's, it's important. Project 2025, Presidential Transition Project. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I had no idea what Project 2025 was. But then I watched the video. There's a, girl, a lady. Can you play that video from that lady, please? Okay, here we go. If you haven't heard of Project 2025, it is a project written by a large group of Republicans that is to be handed to the next Republican candidate so that he can implement it into his presidency. Basically, it is a plan for the next term if the next candidate is a Republican. If you haven't heard of Project 2025, it is very scary. I'm 19 years old, I'm biologically female, and I'm a member of the LGBT community. I can hide the fact that I'm gay, but I can't hide the fact that I was born a woman. And women are one of the targets of 2025. If 2025 is passed, Republicans are seeking to completely ban abortion altogether, no matter the circumstances. Project 2025 also seeks to rewrite the definition of marriage, which includes getting rid of gay marriage. Project 2025 plans to ban all gender-affirming health care. Please don't let a bunch of rich white men whose rights have never been questioned since the beginning of our country dictate our future. Did you all hear that video? I saw a couple of people saying that there was no audio. They couldn't hear. They it's said low. it was really low. It's low because of the video is low. The video itself. Yeah, the audio okay. The video itself well, hey, where, where did I, um, did I send that to you in a text? Uh, yeah, that was a text. Yeah, the audio, sorry oh, wait, about here that, it is guys. right here. Right, I'm going to play it again. Is, I'm is, a, is it loud on the phone? Yeah. It might be louder if we play it through the mic. Let me yeah. play it. If you haven't heard of Project no, 2025, it is a project How about written by a large group of Republicans that is to be handed to the next Republican candidate so that he can implement it, it into his Wait, presidency. Second. Basically, it is a plan for the next term if the next candidate is a Republican. If you it's haven't okay. heard of Project 2025, it is very scary. I'm 19 years old, I'm biologically female, and I'm a member of the LGBT community. I can hide the fact that I'm gay, but I can't hide the fact that I was born a woman. And women are one of the targets of 2025. If 2025 is passed, Republicans are seeking to completely ban abortion altogether, no matter the circumstances. Project 2025 also seeks to rewrite the definition of marriage, which includes getting rid of gay marriage. Project 2025 plans to ban all gender-affirming health care. Please don't let a bunch of rich white men whose rights have never been questioned since the beginning of our country dictate our future. Okay. So what's happening is did you did you get a list of it too, Craig? We, we you put a, a list, list of, of it there. Remember you? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Mo, you can put those things up there. Those 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 uh, screenshots of um, things that they're rolling back, basically. Bitch, they rolling back quicker than Walmart. Um, yeah, yeah. So for example, um, Project Twenty Twenty Five is a nine hundred and twenty page document. It's 920 pages. And the way that it's set up is if the Republican Party wins, a.k.a. Donald Trump, they're going to pass this document 
excuse me, to him. And it's basically a guide for him to just to follow through. Right. And a part of what's going to happen is, yes, they will pull things back that affect women. You already see what's happening with Roe versus Wade. But they'll they'll try to mask it and try to make it seem like they're just uh, affecting trans people in terms of gender affirming um, surgeries and things like that. It's not just that. I said this at the city winery the other day. You see all of this peaceful protesting that these kids were trying to do on these college campuses with regards to what's happening in Palestine. They wouldn't even be able to do that if Project 2025 is in place in this next ele election. Because they are going to put, not pull in the police. They're going to pull in the uh, the National Guard, bitch, the military, to yank y'all up. Uh, any any protesting, whether that is Black Lives Matter, it's these white kids or, or, or mixed race kids that are out here petitioning and protesting on these college campuses. You see how they snatching these old white people, these professors up and throwing them on the ground because they're protesting against Palestine. You won't be able to do any of that stuff. So in other words, it's going to be more like a dictatorship. It, it's not going to be more like it's, it, going, it's to going to be, be a dictatorship, dictatorship because he's the, not trying to leave office at all. The plan is to that that he will be the last president until he dies. Period. So for all you ignorant motherfuckers out there talking about, oh, bitch, we need Trump back. I was doing better. Bitch, keep playing. I got it. Now, bitch, I'm not rich. <laughs> I'm not rich. I am, and but I'm, bitch, and I'm escaping with my family. But, but bitch, I, I got I got a couple dollars that I can leave the country, bitch. I'm escaping you better get your with my passports family. ready, I bitch. Got, I, I got my green passport. Bitch, I got assets. <laughs> bitch, I, I'll now, sell it all. Now, now y'all can play if y'all want want to in this election. Y'all can play in this election if you want to. But it's gonna be more than meets the eye, bitch. You can go. It's, you can go on the internet. Just Google Project Twenty Five. It'll it'll pop up. Put that post back up there for me, please. That that screenshot with the oh, yeah. the, the this one. Yeah. So like, what some of what they're already doing right now? Harvard University. They've already forced out its first black president because they're, they're removing like DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion. It's basically. DEI is basically a way that these corporate companies have been forced to level the playing field, if you will, with people who are who are qualified, people of color who are qualified for, for positions who otherwise wouldn't get a, sh a shot. Duke, Duke University over there in the Carolinas ends full scholarships for black students. We already see what the fuck happened down there in Florida. They already pulled black history out of the schools. Columbia. In New York, arrest students for protesting. USC out there in California bans brown Muslim valedictorian from speaking. Oh, damn. Now, bitch, how are you going to ban the valedictorian? Supreme Court ends all affirmative action admissions. Wow. Some of these schools across the country in Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, and other states, they're already renaming some of these schools after slave owners they, they now these I black people that did all of this work to have these names these schools renamed and slowly but surely they putting them back y'all not paying attention remember all the statues came down Th and they put they they they're, they're, they're erecting them again bitch they're when i tell you they were those people were heated that you listed as grant bitch <laughs> Bitch, those people, I was watching it come down. All the niggas was like, yes, yes, yes. And then the same niggas over there, Trump, Trump, Trump. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, gas prices were lower. You keep on being dumb. Just like he went down there to that motherfucking Chick-fil-A and had them coon-ass niggas, the whole-tap ass niggas. I was just for the ex, Craig. Did you get Moe's? I, I haven't gotten it yet. I need to make sure that nigga over there votes the opposite of Trump. <laughs> he may, I, I ain't trusting none of these niggas. <laughs> he, he may not. That nigga may escape in the middle of the night. L listen, I told you I got my green passport. It's okay. I'll fuck it up. <laughs> Baby, y'all better wake the fuck up. I'll fuck that passport up tonight. <laughs> He's already stacked the Supreme Court with judges that he handpicked. Many of them are judges that he handpicked. Mm. And here's the thing. What that motherfucker is trying to do right now 
And I'm going to talk real slow because I want you to follow this. What that motherfucker is trying to do right now is put it on the books that a president has immunity from any type of crime. And that's why that's that why. video came out the other. Remember when I posted that video? Yeah. And he said that they, he didn't want uh they're going to reinforce the, the, the police, reinstate mm -hmm. the police thing and they yeah. were they were going to be Oh, let me go on my page. Yeah. And they won't be they won't be penalized for No, anything. they will not. They won't be penalized for anything that they do. They will not. And see, and that leads me over to my girl Marilyn Mosby up in Baltimore. Come on. She was the uh district attorney that prosecuted those cops in Baltimore, my hometown, Here go. that killed Freddie Gray. We're gonna bring them back like they used to be. We're gonna make them safe places again. We're gonna give our police their power back and we're gonna give them immunity from prosecution. So they're not prosecuted for doing their job. We'll take over the horribly run capital of our country, Washington, D.C and clean up, renovate, and rebuild our capital city so that it's no longer a nightmare of murder and crime. And, and see, what he's trying to do is give immunity to them white people that were up there on January 6th, bitch. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to give them immunity, but he's also trying to give himself immunity because if he gets back in and he can get the, the, the Supreme Court to rule that no seat, sitting president can be convicted of any type of crime bitch he gonna he gonna lose this is why it's important that katanji and when you is sitting on that supreme court listen and when you hear a white man in power say the words murder the way murder and crime that ain't included no skin that ain't white that that's not including white skin when you think about murder and crime they not thinking about no white people mm -mm. Not in the words murder and crime. And see, with Marilyn Mosby, what they were trying to do, they were trying to shut that lady up. They wanted to lose. They So, because I know some of you may not know who this is. Like I said, she was the attorney that prosecuted those cops in Baltimore that killed Freddie Gray. She took money from her 401k, $50,000, and she purchased a property down in the Florida Keys. First of all, they don't want you niggas down there. Let's start there. But they had a vendetta against her. And so they knew they couldn't sentence that woman to 40 years because she was up against 40 years. She has a 13-year-old daughter and a 15-year-old daughter. Her grandmother raised her. Her grandmother's in hospice care. Marilyn, through all, Marilyn Mosby, through all of this, is going through a divorce. And so what I want you to understand is what them crackers was trying to do was to try to break her spiritually. Because, see, if you can create enough stress in a person's body, you can manifest cancer, heart disease. That woman could have had a nervous breakdown. They were really trying to strip her of her ability to practice law. That's what they were trying to do. But she went to court yesterday, and she's not going to serve any jail time. She has, she has 20 months on house arrest, and they forced her to sell that property that she purchased down there in Florida. She gonna get her fifty thousand dollars back, but she has to walk away from that. But what they're also trying to do is break that woman's spirit, so she no longer wants to fight for black people, black and brown people. Because what she did was she went in, she created a a task force in Baltimore, and she undid a lot of convictions that black and brown men were were convicted. They were convicted and sentenced to jail. She went in and undid all of that. She she created a task force. They 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 investigated, and a lot of those people were sentenced for shit they shouldn't have been sentenced for. Oh, they didn't like her, and, Craig, and they basically saying you black nigga bitch. Yeah. That's what they were trying to do. Craig, sorry, but is this person referring to her also? Uh, Trey Carter. He said, "I'm sorry." She didn't lie on her paperwork. Trey, I need you to do your research. I need you to do your research because see, they're gonna give you just enough. So because see, they count on black folks like you. They count on black folks like you. They give you a little bit of information and then you run and you try to, to spoil everybody else. She, she applied for a financial hardship during the pandemic. Like, Except, I, like we all did. Like, like all of us did. <laughs> and like, I think I'm like, we uh, let me get my letter. Get your paperwork, bitch. <laughs> Just like 700. I, I believe it. Come on. I believe it was like 700. I got all my money free and clear. That's all great. Go ahead. Right. And I believe, I believe there were like 700. And, 
I don't remember what the number is, but she was in good company. I want to say it was like 739 other uh, Congress people who filed for a, a hardship as well, bitch. And they didn't go after her, uh, after any of them. They only went after her because it's like, how dare you? How dare you, bitch? And I saw an interview with Marilyn Mosby where she, when they asked her, if you get off of this, if you get out of this, wh what's next for you? Are you going to go back and practice law? She said, I don't know if I'm going to do this work again. They want her to sit down. That's what they want. Now, my hope, my hope is that she'll start some sort of a nonprofit, bitch. And she'll continue to do the work. But see, I, this is why I'm asking you guys. And this is why this is how we use social media, because it's, it's fun to laugh and giggle. And and, 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 and it's good to read here. It's now. good and all of that. But we also have to use this shit as a tool. Yes, we must. Galvanize. We must. And so I need you guys to go over to her website. I don't know this lady. I've never met her. I don't get nothing from it. Justice for Marilyn Mosby. Even if you can't spell it, put that shit in Google. It'll correct it for you. Justiceformarilynmosby.com. Sign that petition because she needs to be pardoned. President Biden needs to pardon her so that she they can't take that woman's law, law, law degree, her license. But while we talk about Biden, bitch, he was down here at Morehouse the other day uh, speaking at their commencement cer ceremony. And them, some of those people were booing. <laughs> they were getting up. out. They were leaving out. And then, listen, I don't care if you're for if you agree with everything this man is doing or not, I don't believe I don't agree with everything he's doing. I don't. But bitch, he's the lesser of the two evils. Oh my God. He's yeah. not trying to be a dictator. So bitch, get out of your head. But it also seems like that man about to die. And if you don't, well, then that's why the vice president is there Hold to on. succeed. <laughs> Craig, let's let's now let's really tap, let's really tap uh -huh. the camera on this show. Come on. The problem is if he dies, we will have a black woman. In that's charge. right. But Okay, that's, that's the real. True, that's I'm not hoping hope, nobody. No, no, hold on. But let's. Well, bitch, I but hope let's, I hope Trump die. <laughs> but let's be let's be real. That's where the real problem lies. <laughs> if oh, you if you want to motherfucking be technical about the whole bitch. situation, mm. the real problem lies. What's the what's the problem? As if that crook. If what? Bitch? If that crook. President Biden. Kill over right now. We got a nigger bitch in the office. We have a nigger bitch. It'll in be the office. President. Kamala Harris. We have a nigger bitch in the office. See, they don't know if she's going to make it. I mean, if, if Biden is going to make it through this next term. If, yeah. he, if he wins, they don't know if, she's, if he's going to live for the next four years. Right, and then he, Kamala will be the president. He's struggling. It seems like he's struggling out there with health. It's That's like okay. But I'd rather he be in office than Trump. Now, y'all better shake this shit off. Now, and, and, and for you ignorant motherfuckers that's talking about you ain't going to vote for neither one, bitch, you may as well vote for Trump. You might as well. If don't, you if you're gonna say that stupid ass shit, right. and then when they yank your ass out of your car, don't be don't be going on live trying to get the black uh, community to come and support you, bitch. And you didn't take your <laughs> ignorant ass down there to vote. Now I'm gonna tell y'all like I told the people on my live last week. If you don't know who some of these people are, because I don't know who all of these people are at the local level. When when it's time to vote, you have to be there on the local level, because see that's what we're voting in these lieutenants, bitch. These sheriffs, bitch, that's okay with these crackers yanking you out of your car and throwing you in your ground on the ground. That's what we're voting. And in we're these not judges. talking about white people. We're, we're not talking about white people. We're, we're talking, talking about, about crackers. crackers. And if you don't know the distinction between the two, just I'm like sorry. just like I wasn't talking about gay people when I was calling that faggot. That's right. A motherfucking fag. We're trusting that you all are critical thinkers. We're trusting that. Because you saw that motherfucking homosexual fag bitch walking here and immediately called me a motherfucking sir. That was the second sentence, bitch. That was the, that that was the first sentence. So that lets me know that in that pokes, in that puss ass, white sissy poke cracker bitch heart, that's he that that's how, he, that's that, how, that, that, feel. That's how he feel about the girl. Yeah. I see what's happening here. You're gonna come back to him at every turn Every in this show because that bitch is still because that puss ass hoe is still in there oh you know it bitch send me another 20 and we'll bring you up thank you for signing for marilyn mosby see that's the way that we have to galvanize though you know what i'm saying and i and i, I was appealing to my live stream last week or the week before because again we need each other just imagine if that was you she was fighting for black and brown people and if we just let that woman go to jail for 40 years bitch are you crazy and this is what I was trying to say to you guys weeks and weeks ago about Amanda Seals. I don't give a fuck what you think about her personally. Look at that woman's work. You don't have to like her personally, but look at that woman's work. We have to protect these people. Tamika Mallory, 
We have to protect these people's mental space. Like, you know, we fanning out for these celebrities and singers, but bitch, these are the real unsung heroes. These are the ones that we need to be fighting in the comments for and stop being so quick to say, oh, yeah, well, she was guilty, though. She shouldn't have done. Girl, shut up. 